Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Tafari, and this is a, my recap and review for Stargirl episode 11. This one's called Shining Night. And for some reason, every time I hear Shining Night, I just keep thinking of like a Yu Gi Oh card. Like, I mean, I play Shining Knight in attack position. And Kaiba's like, <laughs> Yugi, you fell into my trap card. Activate brainwave malfunction. Now your Shining Knight's not gonna remember who he is for 15 years. Damn it, Kaiba. Well, anyway, this this uh this episode was crazy, man. Some crazy reveals. First off, right out the gate, Courtney's dad shows up. And if anybody saw my pregame episode, like I was like, man, that can't be her dad, bro. That can't be. Please say it ain't so. Say it's not her dad, bruh. I mean, at least with the evidence that they portrayed in this episode, it must be her dad. And he's a dickwad, bro. Like. The man came all this way, pretty much the only reason he came all this way is because he was broke and he knew if he could get the other other set of this locket, he could sell that John for money. Bro, that's crazy, man. And then they, yo, they definitely, um, they crossed me up, yo. They, they had me on the ground because like, I was thinking, all right, boom, he said like, oh, this necklace, it was made by like, this blah, blah, blah of the stars or whatever, right? And I mean, he even prefaced it by saying like what he meant was the person makes jewelry for like Marilyn Monroe types, you know, pretty much big stars. But pretty much as soon as I heard star, you know what I mean? Now I'm like, oh snap, so maybe the jewelry is the reason the thing accepted her? Like, yo, hit me with the ultimate cross up. And I mean, I was starting to figure it out during my pregame uh, video. If you saw that, like, um, but yeah, man, like that was kind of like the juke move. I was kind of just like trying to figure out like, dang, so it, like he's he is the dad, but it's not about being the dad. It's about having the, the item. But, you know, there was so much contradictory stuff like this was just good writing, bro. Like she said that it was probably her dad and there was no reason to not believe it, man. And so Starman's not her dad. I mean, this is. Dude, I mean, I, I joked about how that could be some crazy good writing. I just, I mean, you know, when you're watching the CW, you don't, you don't expect something like this. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm like that, that, that hit real hard. And then, and then the staff didn't want to work, yo. Bruh. So after she accepted that she's not, you know, she's not Starman's daughter, she still goes back to use the staff. Oh yeah. Cause like. They had like a little ceremony at school honoring um, Henry or, you know, is that the name of the kid that died? I believe so. And, um, you know, Brainwave Jr. And so they were honoring him. His dad speaks up there, bro, the audacity, the audacity of freaking the whole ISA, man. So first of all, the dad's like, oh man, this terrible accident, this whole, oh my God, no one's to blame such a terrible accident. Knowing damn well he fucking mentally trampled his own son. And then he has the nerve to reach out to Courtney telepathically and be like, it's your fault. Like, like what? What? Bruh? I, I did not kill your kid. I didn't do any. Bruh. Bruh. Yo. And then, and then you thought he was bad. Here comes, um... Icicle, so Brainwave's like, oh yeah, so now that I'm up, I got my memories back, come to find out, I already know who Stargirl is, yo, it's it's this person right here, here's her social security number, her family, all that, and like, homie's like, oh, it's her? And so, uh, Brainwave wants to kill her, and, and Icicle's like, nah, 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 you know what, yo, written warning, written warning, no violations this time, but if it happens again, and Brainwave's like, ho, 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 hold up, what you mean by that? So, so he starts digging around in Icicle's mind, which it sounds like they already have prior beef about doing some shit like that, and so come to find out, you know, homie's like, be I guess because he has the hots for Barbara, Icicle doesn't want to off her family, but, um, you know, Brainwave even says, hey man, listen, bro, I could just rewrite her brain, like, make her forget that she even had a wife and kid and shit, like, we could fuck her up all day, and, like, homie's like, nah, nah, man, my, my sex toys are never the same after you do that, bro, I can't have you doing that, like, 
And I mean, I, that's what that's what I heard, bro. That's what, I swear to God, that's what I heard out of that man. And so, um, so they're at a disagreement, right? Oh no, Icicle had the audacity to say, "Oh, she'd be devastated if if her her daughter died and all this shit." Like, bruh, Brainwave was like, "What? I just killed my wife and son for the mission." You gonna have to let your booty call go or let me rewrite her. One of the two, homie. He was like, no one's ever the same after you rewrite them, no. Bruh, a couple minutes ago, the plan was to rewrite half of the United States. What you mean? What you mean? So Brainwave was like, he gave, he gave him the thug nod and he was like, all right. Pretty much 24 hours, bro. I'm gonna give you 24 to 48 business hours. You better come back with a proposal or we gonna have some problems. A'ight? And so I, I just goes like, aight, fuck. So then I just starts doing some digging around, gets onto Barbara's computer, calls up his nerd friend to like repopulate the search history. I hope it ain't that easy for the government, but of course it is. Um, he re repopulates the search history and there it was. Starman killed by Icicle right there. So, you know, I guess at this point he's like, dang, you know, she's already been in, she's already knows my true colors, bro. So then when they meet up again, he's like, all right, kill them all. Oh, and Henry, remember to kill the son too, bro. We don't want no legacies running around because this is where they fucked up last time, right? They were there like, we're not fucking up like this again. This time you kill the whole family. And that's what's crazy, bro. That's what's crazy. And so honestly, the show, this particular episode, it was still good, but it, it, it was a lot of the same. It, it kind of spun its wheels a little bit, which it was fine. Like I enjoyed every ounce of it. Um, you get more of the Shining Knight. Come to find out they, they captured the Shining Knight back in the day. They must have scrambled his brains, took his identity. That dude is a great actor, by the way. I felt so bad for him. He really knows how to pull off this like mentally ill veteran type of dude. Like, man, like every man, I don't know. This show, the writing, it slaps. Uh, but yo, now the next one, next episode is the last episode, though. Bro, I need this show, man. This show was helping me get through a, like a rough breakup and shit, bro. I don't want this show to go nowhere, man. But I mean, you know, what it is what it is. It is what it is, right? How can you, it can't go back, man. Um, all right, we'll, fly, we'll watch that final episode. I think I'm gonna do another pregame, like before the episode comes out. I might, I mean, I don't know. I, I might have to like tiptoe around my YouTube rules for a second here. Oh man, that, that lightning, that thunder, bro. It's trying to tell me to wrap it up. Hey man, listen, that's my review. Yo, if you want to see more of my reviews, more of my breakdowns, reactions, yo, subscribe, like, uh, you know, help me out. Help me fight the algorithm dragon, all right? All right, be easy, y'all. Peace.